I should have stayed home. Ripped jeans. Red too tough. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. Today I have an exciting ass video. telling you guys the story time of how I snuck out of my house tried to go to a party with one of my friends picked that bitch up and got pulled over afterwards and then had to come home sneak back into my house sneak back into my room go to sleep wake up the next day act like nothing happened so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys at the end of it starting with this story so this happened when I first got my driver's license, so not even like a week or two after I got my driver's license and was able to drive by myself, my dumb ass got pulled over. Didn't know how to work my own car and got pulled over. Boy, <laughs> you're in for a treat. So basically, I think it was like 9 o'clock at night. Or it was close. This night was like close to my curfew. My curfew by law is 11 o'clock p.m. I cannot be out after that because, you know, there is a chance I'll get pulled over and can get a ticket and whatnot and some other stuff that I don't even know. This happened close to my curfew. Someone hit me up, one of my friends from school that I met last year in junior year. She hits me up. I'm going to name her Karen. Imagine. Karen. Karen stop so I'm gonna name her Karen <laughs> I can't do that I'm gonna name her Layla so Layla hits me up close to my curfew and she's like hey can you take me to this party that blank and blank are at right now I'm now editing this right now and I realized that I instead of Instead of sticking with the name Layla, I actually just switched back to Karen. I just want to put that out there so you're not confused. And I'm like, I don't really know because it's kind of close to my curfew and I don't really want to get caught. So I was just telling her, like, I don't know, like, I don't want to get caught, you know, like driving and stuff at night and whatnot. And she's like, okay, yeah, I, I totally understand, whatever. So, a few hours go by, and I hit her up. I hit this girl Karen up. <laughs> Karen is such a wet ass of me, bro. I hit this girl Karen up. She's not a Karen, I promise. But I hit her up, and I was like, actually, on second thought, I'll take you. This girl lives in Glen Allen. She lives 30 minutes, so that's an hour of driving right there. Plus another 30 minutes because I had to take her there take her home then drive back to my house that's too much but I was down to do it because I was a nice person and I'm a nice friend and I'll do those things for my friends because you know YOLO hey so I was like yo actually on second thought I'll take you whatever so she asked me to take her to this party which means my ass gotta sneak out my house so I think I snuck out my garage i snuck out my garage my car is loud as hell loud as hell like when you turn that bitch on it's like <laughs> it's so loud and my parents their like window is like right next to the driveway so i was just like concerned that they didn't even catch me this night but basically there is blood on my arm hey girl so basically i came up with the plan i snuck out my house first i called karen i was like yo i don't know how i'm gonna get to y'all because my car is loud as hell and my parents sleep right next to the driveway and then she's like it's okay like you got it girl you got it so i turn that bitch on i back the book up and i zoom out the freaking freaking cul-de-sac and i'm gone and i'm driving i'm driving i'm driving i'm scared you know because i just got my license whatnot like two weeks ago or like a week ago but I'm driving to this girl's house. I pull up. I'm like, hey, I'm here. And then she gets in my car. We're driving. She's paying for my gas, mind you. If she didn't have to pay for my gas, none of this shit would have happened. 
I don't have my lights on. I have to turn my lights on, like, by myself. Like, twist that bitch. Like that. So, she's paying for my gas since she lives so far away from me. And after I got her, we went to the gas station because I remember I was low on gas. And so, oh, I paid for my gas. Well, nah, we got the gas. We're good. She gives me like $20 or something or 10 I don't really remember. And then we're ready to go as soon as we pull out. As soon as we pull out. I forgot to turn on my tail lights. I forgot to turn on my tail lights. I forgot to turn on my tail lights, dude. So I'm driving down the road. I get the windows down, the music calmly playing. We're just talking, having a good conversation. Then all of a sudden, I see white lights. I know that's a policeman because, you know, all policemen drive with white lights. And then he pulls me over. And then, not only that, there's nobody in this road. There's nobody. It's just me and this cop. He pulls me over. I, I'm like, freaking out i'm having a spaz i've never been pulled over by the cops i just got my license like a week or two ago so like i'm scared of shit i'm my balls are dropped like i'm scared and so he pulls me over i he's like can i see your license and registration please and i'm sitting here like what the fuck i only have my license the paper copy and my uh dude what is that thing called my permit so I have my permit. I give him my license and registration. I give, and he's like, don't you have to have a permit with it? And I was like, yeah, here you go. So I give him, he goes back to his car, looks it up, looks me up in the freaking book, and the law. Comes back, he's like, you know I'm not supposed to be all past your country, right? And I was like, yeah. And he knew. But you know it's past the word, right? And I was like, yeah. He was like, well, this is going to be a warning for you if I were you, I'd get home as soon as possible because any other cop would be gladly to pull you over and give you a ticket. And I was like, well, well, so I was like, okay. he was like, drive safe, turn on your taillights, and I'll be like, and I was like, Thank you. I forgot to mention though, like while he was going back to his car, I was flipping shit to Karen. I was like, dude, what the fuck? He's gonna call my parents. Oh my god, dude. And she's like sitting here like, Harry, calm down. It's okay. Harry, calm down. Calm down. It's okay. And I'm sitting there like, no, it's not okay. Like, I'm getting so much trouble. You don't understand. My parents are black. Like, they're gonna beat my ass. I'm just sitting here going off. And that shit was scary. No cap. So since we were close to her house, I did just take her home. I did what he asked me to. I took her home and then she went back in her house. We didn't go to the party that night because I wasn't going to get called by another cop that's dead. So I took her home. I drove my ass 30 minutes back to my house, parked my car, got in my house. My LED lights were on, turned them bitches off, and then went to sleep. Next day I woke up, nothing acted like nothing happened so i'm pretty proud of myself like for sneaking out and stuff i've snuck out a few other times but we ain't gonna talk about all that if you want to hear some more of those stories you can like let me know and i'll tell you them but yeah that's basically how i snuck out got pulled over by a cop and then went it directly home it was like 3 a.m. at that point. <laughs> I, was out. I was out of the house and it was 3 a.m. So, yeah. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.